good morning everyone welcome to kelly's creative dream studios and today we are doing our spotlight creator today and that is uh, once again gail agostinelli and i watched a video of hers from oh, four or five years ago i think and it was about making tags from packaging now i spotted this one this was the first one i came to i have a lot of tim holtz packaging but I don't want the Tim Holtz packaging, that vintage look, in this journal. I'm going for the blues and whites. So I found this one pretty quickly amongst my mess. Um, it's from Jot, which means it is probably a Dollar Tree, I believe. And it was a package of labels. So this is what we're going to play with today. And I like it because we're going to wind up covering the back of this because this is going to be our writing space before i go any farther on that though i wanted to tell you i did figure out what paper i want to use for my blue journal and because i'm using the gail agostinelli spotlight videos for my january journal this fits so this is called stampin this is from stampin up it's called snowflake splendor i believe Yes, and I just love the colors, and this lets me bring in a little bit of heather violets. So there's this. I should have brought my book over. I won't need the greens, but I will like those snowflakes. This all over snowflake pattern. So I'm going to flip everything over so I'm looking at just the blues sides when I'm starting to look through and see what I want to do. Probably won't use that one again because it has the greens. I want just the blues. See, this is like that um, one from Stampin' Up! that I mentioned. It's got a little bit darker tone to it. Not sure I'll use that one. But I love this one. It's got just the hint of the heather in there. So we'll use that side of that one. We may still be able to use the, the dark back side. But there's that. That one with the heathers again and there's the back side of that one it has um a water bleed effect to it i like that as i look at snow papers today apparently we are going to be talking about snow today we are in a wintry mix forecast see that one i won't use either um, we have the wintry mix forecast in for today and Bob's only about three hours out so I'm hoping he gets home before it transfers this way now I'm gonna thought about moving this up a little bit but I don't think I am because if I do that then you're not gonna be able to see the you'll be too far away from everything else let's move my flowers I also found this blue doily in my stash that almost has like a snowflake effect to it so I may use this in the doily maybe on the cover Maybe on the cover with this one. This is one that I crocheted many, many years ago. I haven't crocheted in so long. I want to make some crocheted flowers to put in my shop. It's one of my goals. Now, I want to hang, keep that punch handy because I may use it. But, I want to start with one of the things that... Gail did was she took her tag base and she collaged. Now I'm not normally a big one for collaging but I think I'm going to do that since I do have pieces here to play with. So for starters and I don't like to cut I really like my trimmer I know I can't find the center of anything and I couldn't catch a straight line so I'm going to take this and I'm going to leave the hole at the top and then I won't have to do a hole later. So we're going to cut that off. So we have that. And I have my Knight of Navy here. And I've created, this box is eventually going to get painted teal. But it's just a little tray from Dollar Tree. And I put some of Tim Holtz's uh, sticky grip mat in the bottom. And my close to cocoa and my walnut stain and then this one will also go in there but I've been leaving it sit because 
so then I've got my memento in there and then this one will just sit off to the side because I don't use it for every project. These are just the colors that I use for every project. And the sticky mat in there will keep this from moving when I'm when I'm applying ink to my sponge. The, the uh, pad won't move. And I like that. I won't have to hold my mat in place. So I'm going to flip this one down since we're not working with browns and move it out of the way. And I'm going to come back to my Night and Navy, which is a Stampin' Up! color. And I love my daubers, because I can just daub this, and this is going to take that white edge off of there and create a... In fact, I'm going to... I'll wind up doing this on both, because if you'll notice, when you do this, you only get it on one side. And I want that color to be on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and dust this side. See, if I had sticky grab here, I wouldn't have to hang on to that either, so. Okay, and then I'll flip it over so I can get the blue on the back side, too. And if I get a little crazy in here, that's fine, because we're going to collage over top of it. You know, even if the packaging doesn't seem very important or creative, it's what you do to the packaging that can make the world a difference. This white was very nondescript, but when I come back, when I come back with this and add stuff to it, now I'm going to keep this because I think I'm going to collage over this. I'm going to create a larger label. And it's going to go over this. So we're going to, so I'm still mimicking the blues here. But for starters, let's collage over the top of this. Now I am not a fan of glue stick because glue will, the glue stick will release in, um, will release when you, in temperature changes is where I'm trying to go with that. This wasn't going there. I want to come in at an angle. So I'm trying to find something that's relatively... Let's do this. Here. And I am going to pinch that right there. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to leave the white on this one. Because it will have that snow drift type of effect to it. So I'm going to leave that. We have that, and we have that there, and we need to come back, I'm trying to come back here, and it really doesn't matter, I guess, if we go, go all the way to the bottom, because we're going to come back in and put that tag in here, that pocket, so yeah, that'll work, right like that, and then I'm going to put a band across here, and then I'm going to leave this white, I'm going to leave this white, and I'm going to let this blend into that white. So I'm going to come back in here with my Tombow, and let's leave this open as a tuck. Let's do that. So as I remember to do that so that I don't glue it shut, and I know I'm off of camera here. So I've got that on there. We're going to glue that in there. And so this is wind up going to be both a tag and a double tuck. So you can tuck this in. And keep in mind, tags do not always have to be, they don't have to have that, that, what am I trying to say? The tag, you don't have to have these corners off your tags all the time. A tag can be square cut, it can be round, doesn't matter. Now see, I got some ink on there. And I'm going to take a spot. I'm going to try something. Because, you know, you don't know if it's going to work unless you try. So I'm going to put a little bit of... Oops. That will evaporate, but it didn't take the ink off. Gosh darn it. I was hoping it would take the ink off. So we may wind up covering that, too. Okay. So we have this. We need something across here. So I'm looking for, I've got scraps over here from that paper pad. 
I don't like that one. This one's not bad. But I only want it about one, two, about an inch and a half. So let's come back in here at this inch and a half mark. Just like that. And we're going to take off about a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to have more scraps to play with. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm really trying to eliminate scraps in the studio and it's not working real well. Now I am going to go ahead and cover this hole because I can repunch that off the top of here without any problem. And let's cut this off just a hair more go this way. Cut this off just a hair more and you know it's not going to be straight but that's all right. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to mimic this ticket punch out just by using a standard quarter hole punch and just nipping it just like that. I guess I want to go a little deeper like that. And I can lay that right over top of there, just like that. If I could pick it up, it would work better. And I think we're going to do just like that. So let's get our glue back in here. I've spent the last two weeks cataloging all of my Stampin' Up! paper. And I'm going to ask you in the comments how many pads of Stampin' Up! 12 by 12 paper you think that I have. Leave that in the comments below. And I will tell you next week how close you are. Okay, so there's that. Probably should have dusted that. But, stick that upside down. Now, I have this paper pad, and this paper punch, and I love it. I about buried my pocket. Let's, I think I'm going to put this pocket over here. Yeah, because then I just need to cover this. And I don't have a ruler in front of me. So let me see here. I'll be glad when I get stuff put away over here where it belongs. But I want to see. Okay, this ticket part is about three and three quarter by not quite one and a half three and three quarter by one and a half so let's come back with something a little since we use this on the back side let's put it on the front no 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 don't want to do that one I'm trying to use the scraps before I cut into another piece, and I'm not sure that's going to work. I may have to cut in. Let's try this one. So what did we say? Three and three quarter by about an inch and a half. And I want to use this darker side of the blue here, there, and then we're going to come back and nip nip. And the only reason I'm doing this is just to mimic that ticket edging here. And then that's going to go right over there. And remember, this is going to be upside down, so we're okay. We're still good. Once I get this done this morning and get this video uploading, then I'm going to be pulling all of my Maddie stuff that I've been stacking up on my work table and staging everything for the items I think I can still get done for Maddie's challenge. 
And then we're going to turn this into a pocket here. Before I glue that down, I want to come back with the Knight of Navy on this one. Probably should have dusted that too, but you know. Most all of my ink spots have a double layer of these cork spots on here. They're the perfect size for a finger dauber. And then I don't lose my finger dauber with that color when I'm working. I'm not chasing my finger dauber around. Well, this may look like a pocket, it is a pocket, but it's still going to be a tag. It's still going to be a tag. Now, I do have, still have these snowflakes, and I don't know if I want to put something that delicate on here. Because that's going to be a pocket, and it's going to be sliding in and out of a pocket. Probably not anything that delicate. So, what do I have over here in my flowers that is white, that is kind of flat? Let's use these from close to my heart. I have a thrift store in West Plains <clears throat> where I have <clears throat> managed to um, find a whole bunch of close to my heart items. Flowers, stamps, um, just all kinds of stuff. Now I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to find me something that I can dust on. And let's try this and see what happens. Let's dust our dauber up. I have a piece of that paper that is just following me around. Now this night of navy is pretty dark. But what did I do with those stickies that I got yesterday? I think I put them away. I think I put them away. And that wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm looking here. I have a new project box over here to start dumping stuff in. Oh, now there's something we might use. And there's more filler and more fabric. Lined paper, a dye. <laughs> trying not to fall over over here. I'm working trying to get down into the bottom of this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We have these that I picked up from Christmas. If I can get them open. These were from the Hobby Lobby Christmas clearance. Let's see. Let's see if we put. Let's see, if we can audition those. That would be pretty good. But I'm not. I'm not sure. I like that darker navy blue. Actually, I think is what's throwing me. So let's let's cap that one. And let's see what else we have for blues. Neutrals. Brights. Sprites, sprites. I'm looking at my color. Specific point might work. I know I don't want neutrals. There aren't really any good blues in there. So I have a box somewhere. <laughs> it hasn't been put away. I have an ink box here somewhere. I will be so glad when this studio is back in order and I can find everything. I just saw an ink box over here. Just this week. There we go. There's two of them there. I don't want neutrals. Oh. Ah. Saddles. This is what I'm looking for. And I think I want... Balmy blue. Balmy blue is in here. Where it's supposed to be. 
Mint Macaron is not the one I use. Pool Party. Soft Sea Foam. So, nope, it's not in there. Of course it's not. What have we got over here? Regals. I have ink pads all over my desk that don't belong on my desk and not in their cases. And there's no blues in here either. Huh. Well, fiddlesticks. Not the blue I wanted. I know I don't want espresso. don't want a crumb cake. don't want basic black. Which means it's probably in a project box somewhere. So this may be what we go with. Or we can go with the white. Let's think about the white. Oh yeah, that has potential. That has potential. Let's do that. I like that. I like that much better. And it will pop. Let's reposition it to where it's actually in the center of this flower, which means now I'm going to have to do a glue dot. And it won't take much glue to put it in place, but now that it's not terribly sticky, I can reposition it a little better. There we go. Okay. And then we'll put glue on the back and glue it there. And the only other thing I'd like to find that I know I do not have in this box is some, some words. I'll have to look for those as I don't have any words in here. So we'll have to come back to those. So we have that. And like I said, this is going to be a tag. So let's put... Put, put this on there so we can bring in our silver and you know if you guys see me do something you think I should have done differently feel free to tell me in the comments below what you would have done I'm okay with that and this is a wired ribbon so I'm going to take and put that through there kind of even it up and then I'm just going to twist it up on itself, just like that, okay? And I'm going to put another one of those white flowers over here on this side. If I can get them separated. Okay, there's that. And where's our... Did I put my flowers away? I didn't think I put my flowers away. <laughs> Apparently I put my flowers away. There they are. From my centers. There we go. And I think on this one, let's put a big silver snowflake over here. On this side. Just like that. And then we can layer it with one of these. You know, I keep losing things in my studio. A couple of things. And because this is going to stick onto there, I want to make sure it really does stick. So I'm going to put just a dab of glue on the back of there. Because sometimes slick to slick doesn't always stick. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Decided not to use that. We're going to put this on the back of what's going to tuck into here. And that needs to be approximately one, two, three, four, five, five and a half inches by three inches. So let's find us something else. Put these in here, put the lid on. I was watching Gail's video this morning. Somebody had requested a video showing how she cleans up. And I'm like, 
Yeah, I kind of need to pay attention to that video. So that is going to be one of my resolutions. Not a goal, a resolution. And a resolution is where you say it's not a goal you're aspiring to long term. Resolution is saying you're going to do this today. Okay, you know what? I have to stop this right here or my video will not upload. So I'm going to do a rather quick update and so there will be a part two. So come back for that.